Good morning, getting the bike ready, taking Grey Ghost. Uh, this video, it's kind of slightly worried about this video. Makes me slightly nervous. I'll tell you why. Mainly because the bike is running, is running just great. I think there's absolutely nothing needed to it. The upgrade that I'm going to do, it's a bonus upgrade. And I'm kind of concerned that after the upgrade, I won't see a big change and then I'll have a problem uh, looking straight into your eyes and telling you yeah it's uh, it was well worth it it has to do with the su suspension and the suspension on the uh, lowrider ST is just good I mean I have no complaints about it out of the factory stock it's just good suspension now mind you I come uh, the previous bike I had was an electric electric glide which we all know the touring models at the time you know pre 2024 had questionable i would say questionable suspension uh i want to be very gentle with what i'm saying it was questionable suspension and a uh, upgrade for suspension was always needed so when i moved switch from the electric glide to the soft tail the low rider st that was such a big improvement you know, with the ride, the quality of uh, the ride, the ride quality, that was like, I'm so happy with the suspension stock. But today, I'm doing an install, an upgrade, and I'm, I'm really hoping that the final result would be, yes, I'm happy I did this because there's such an improvement. And then I can tell you guys, this is well worth it. So let me ride over. I'm riding over, riding over to the Johns. We're driving, we're riding down two hours in South Jersey, and we'll take it from there. That Bassani set gives us such a nice bark. We're doing some good progress. We're we're hour and a half uh, ride. We stopped at Judy Bloom rest stop. We're a bit early, and the shop isn't open yet. Listen, ride over here, down here was uh, was good. Was good. Uh, like I said, when before I left the house, I have no complaints with the uh, suspension as it is. I'm hoping I will see a nice improvement. I'm a little bit nervous, like I said, because I'm happy with the suspension as it is. So we'll see. We'll see at the end of this day. here to EPM Performance. Mike is gonna take care of our bikes. Mike's shop, pretty cool setup over here he's got. And it just came across a BMW that is stripped down to the bone. Look at this, <laughs> look at this BMW. Down to the bone, I guess that's the frame right there. Hey, how you doing? What's going on? How, you doing? how are you? Good. Nice What's up, John? Place, man. Hey. Nice place. How you doing? Oh, yeah. Good, Very nice Good. place. How was the ride? <clears throat> it was nice a little ride. chilly. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> Brand new buildings and stuff, so. Wow. Yeah, it's just South Jersey. Beautiful, beautiful space. We're going to take you inside and show you guys around. So, this is where we handle all of our shipping. So, any of the products that come in, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, my personal 
uh, project bike. That oh, that is, is yours. Is, <laughs> what, let me ask, what is this? Uh, it's a BMW Bear. K1100. Wow. Uh, 1994. Oh, uh, I have some Jigsaw 1000 forks for it and uh -huh. uh, stuff like that. So let's go back outside. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't like... even recording. So... <laughs> <laughs> Life of a YouTuber. Always make sure the record button is clicked. Take two. <laughs> this, is, this is Mike from EPM Performance here. He actually came by the house and installed the suspension, which was a Hyper Pro. The Hyper Pro, right? Yep. On Cam's Dyna. He also did uh, Fly and Rides uh, yep. Nevo Mat suspension right. with right. Stefan. We're at his shop here in White. Our little demo bike that was in the Fly and oh, Rides. Yeah. Oh, I rode that one. Right. I actually rode that one. Yeah. It was yeah. very good. Yeah. I enjoyed uh, it. This is where we handle all. We handle three different brands here. Yeah. Uh, so we're the U.S. importer for three brands. Okay. Hyper Pro, uh, they're out of the Netherlands. Wilbur's out of Germany, and YSS out of Thailand. Uh, so oh, wow. we carry all those products. Wilbur's is uh, really pushing uh, into the Harley market right now. Yeah. Uh, so that's what we're going to be installing today yeah, for you guys. They, they make bikes for everything. Uh, Wilbur's has been working with BMW. Um, their sport bike team in Germany for the past 10 years or so. So people people keep using the word Nivomat as well. What what is that? What is the Nivomat? So the Nivomat is the specific shock. That is the auto leveling system. So the actual shock uh, that doesn't have a spring around it uh, that's going to go on the touring models. Yours it's one unit. Gotcha. But is, uh, is he getting Evo Matt too? Yes. Oh, yep. he is. Okay. Yep. That's, it's, that's uh, it's, I get only the best, man. Yeah. Uh, I don't settle. Yeah. The Nivo Matt is actually what um, levels the bike based on how much weight you have on it. Mm -hmm. Right. So that's the the actual shock. That's what right. it's what it's And that's like. the that system's only in the back, obviously. Only in the back. Okay. Yep. Gotcha. Gotcha. Nice and clean, huh? Yes. Yeah. Kept it clean. Or it's new, one of the two. Well, we, we, <laughs> we really do try to I try to keep it as, as clean as possible. Yeah, this is yeah. our little service uh, area. So all the stuff that we sell to, we service. Um, so uh, all the Wilbur shocks that come in, um, Hyper Pro shocks, anything that needs to get done service. Vacuum pumps, we have air running throughout the whole building. We're, when we're servicing stuff, we just can break everything down right into the sink. Uh, is this like a that. coffee machine? Can we have coffee now? <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is better, better than the doll's coffee machine. <laughs> you do all your installs only over here? Because I remember uh, seeing a, like a van come up to John's place yeah, at the yeah. time. So we have the van. Uh, mo the van's mostly for picking up and dropping off. We just have such a nice setup now that it's, yeah. you know, it's much easier to work, yeah. right. work in here. So you're the suspension pro, that's pretty it. much, whatever. Yeah. Just yeah. suspension, that's, that's pretty much all you we do here. So. All the these are all the nibble mats. Oh, wow. So wow. we'll pull one of these out for you guys. Uh, we'll get everything laid out on the tables and right. stuff. Oh, nice. right. The steering dampers, uh, seals, all that yeah. stuff. Damn. Springs for the mono shock, mm. nibble mats. Fork springs, different spacers for the forks. The Nevo, the Nevo mat uh, for the soft tail for my bike is a relatively a new, uh, yes, a new yes. product, huh? Brand new. Okay, um, cool. They've I'll been be... in the development for the last year or so. Right. Um, we just started bringing them in two months ago, maybe. Stefan personally hand delivered yours. Yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> that's that's okay. so cool. There might be a right, right, so, Steph yeah. right, Stefan. He's actually somewhere around here hiding, I think. Now he's flying right now. I'm excited to be pretty much one of the yeah, first so you, one of the first why don't, why don't you be first yeah all right uh, we'll record your bike first sure. are you doing the, doing the, one at a time or you can do we both can do both at, at a time i pretty much told my guys that you know i was yeah. thinking put a bike in each bay i'd rather bikes are uh, being wheeled in more efficient they're going to work on both bikes at the same time and mike the pro is going to be running from one bike to the other like his, his techs obviously know know the job, but we want him to be doing the talking. So whenever there's a, a crucial or a significant a piece of information that he's going to be running over to the camera, talking, installing it. I remember a flying ride had his Wilbur's suspension installed at his garage with Stefan. And I rode the demo bike and it was like... It was it was great. It was great. So they they nailed it with the touring models. I'm the one of the... First ones, it took him quite a while to develop 
uh, the technology for this, for the soft tail. For the only reason mainly is because on the soft tail, the piston, whatever you want to call the, the, the system itself is, is uh, positioned yeah. Yeah. horizontally yeah. as opposed to vertically with the touring model. So it had to be changing all the valving over there and all because it works on liquid, you know, liquid moving from one side to the other. So this way it was moving up and down. Now with the soft tail, it's this way. So they had to develop within, inside the shock itself, the system inside for it to be positioned properly. So I'm pretty much one of the earliest bike to be installed and I'm really excited. Kirby is like Nadal's cat, Simba. Hey, Kirby, hey, hey, good dog. Good dog, yeah. <laughs> I'm used to good, good dog from Pico. Still bottoming out. Sure. So it's like, it's even though it's better, it's still yeah. not good. The, the springing for your weight, the answer is yes. My question was, these suspensions are gonna be sprung for our weight? Or? Yeah, so, uh, for each set, this is the touring model set mm -hmm. and the mono uh, the mono shock set. We have a couple different rates of spring that we choose from. Uh, it is based on the solo rider's weight because this system automatically levels based on oh, gotcha. how much weight you add to the bike, right, which is right. taken care of by the nivo mat shock. Right, right. The spring is there to hold up your solo weight so that whenever you're riding solo. It is set up perfectly for you. Right, right. When that weight is added, the nivel mat will take care of it. And this hydraulic system takes over. Correct. Got so it. if I was a bigger guy, I would get a different spring. You, you guys would set up Correct. a different spring. Yep. Yeah. So we have all the all the different springs in the, gotcha. in the back there. Remember, when a customer gets uh, this from you, you, he, you 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 will specifically ask him for his weight. Yes. I yeah. Got you. So on all of our ordering forms, if we talk to you over the phone, uh, <clears throat> your weight, we ask for your weight. We ask for your, your passenger weight, the amount of time you ride with the passenger. Wow, very specific. And the amount of luggage you put on. Yeah. I'm going to be riding this bike pretty much how it is like it is now. Yeah. But me and Sandy, Danny, we're going on a cross-country trip. I'm going to have probably an extra 50 to 60 pounds no with the luggage on the back. But we're you're not going to spring it for that luggage. No. no. This, Only, will take, this, yes. will this, this will take care of this this will take care of a tour pack or any sort of luggage that's right, added right, right, right. but if you ride with that weight all the time then that's a different it story. just makes sense to exactly. right, to, right, to right. set it up for to that center it to the, the time put it at the right. center of the right place right. so okay guys this is going to be a, v a long long video so we're just in the beginning i suggest you go go so now grab some videos, popcorn yeah, right. let's, let's, let's <laughs> It is. Grab your popcorn now, your soda, your coffee, whatever. Of course, it's going to be long, descriptive, very detailed. So specific. So, like, he literally put the, the model of my bike, the FXL RST, my weight, which is uh, 82 uh, pounds, uh, kilos, uh, 81 kilos. And then he does his, his Excel sheet, whatever the yeah, number so we comes have, out with. Yeah, so we have all the calculations yeah. for spring Sandy, rates. Sandy has no bone mass. That's why, <laughs> that's why he's 81 pounds. And uh, then he comes out with a number, and then he tells Julian, Julian, punch in so-and-so. <laughs> what is that called? Osteo uh, right? Osteosporosis. <laughs> Uh, it's the 65 Newton and 24 millimeters of preload. You see, like literally, the the details from my technical. weight, yeah. technical details yeah, from my right. well, my weight goes into cases. the torque specs he needs for the That's initial true. setup. If you are somebody who does load up with gear and you decide to go hit the twisties, right. the nivel mat system okay. will handle right, it. Right, right, right. It will handle it, and, and it works really, really well. So more flexible setup. More I would flexible. Say, right? I would because say that as well. Yeah. That is yeah. the thing because the one up, two up, correct. Pack. Yeah loaded unloaded it's just easy right. plug and play system exactly. that performs and, beautifully yeah and the ride the ride quality out of them is amazing top notch. Right, right. Yeah. 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 best olive oil the best yeah. olive oil <laughs> john for your bike uh these are the new fork springs new preload bushings the shocks and this is the the spring that we're going to go with you're getting mm -hmm. 10 weight oil as well gotcha and you need two sandy you got sandy's... five weight your fork springs, these are your preload bushings for your fork springs, mm -hmm. and then I only got a widow one. That's it. I only a, got a widow one. one. I want a big one. <laughs> I want a big one. Why did I get the widow one? Pretty much adding the preload to the spring. Okay. So you could kind of have it pre-set up, and then after that we could go. Uh, we you. measure the sag, and then we could see. Okay, that's for the, that's a touring. That's John's yes. bike. Yeah, that's for John's bike. Yes. Okay.
No, we just put the spring in. And we did the preload. You I did just the preload already? Yeah, you just For did now, it over I'll here. Yeah. To have it set up. Oh, once you get on you, the, yeah, once we're gonna have you on the bike, check measure this, check yes. it, check the see side. how far okay. you are from the 20 millimeters of sand. Oh, gotcha. So that we can either decrease or add or increase the preload. Oh. They are really good. It's really you good. See a shots. lot of like uh, warranty claims or no? No, not no. really. No, we just have them ship out and ship out. <laughs> not for once. Well, we know uh, German engineering, you know. But, This is really, it's like a pharmacy. It's like a pharmacy over here. It's that clean and that that high tech. Everything is like documented. Everything is the part number that is on here currently. Is, what we order non-specific shocks. From. Got you. Generic, and yeah. then you you custom. That says that that's that's fit for that for bike. a road glide. Yes. Got you. So any warranty, anything like that, the correct part number is already shown on the told you it's like a pharmacy with a little prescription and everything well the seat is off seat is off now we're playing with taking uh the uh mono shock off over here the stock a pinch bolt yeah pinch bolt that sits right there oh i see it actually yeah once you get that loose you just have to pull the bolt out that runs in here right with one the up top bar. here yeah. uh, you got a preload adjuster so you just unbolt that here, right? And then the whole thing should just come out. Okay. It really isn't complicated at all. I mean, it's people can do this at home by themselves. We sell the kits to individuals. Okay. Um, we tell them, you know, if you're used to working on your bikes and stuff, the rear shocks are 100% something you can install. Um, it's best if you have a friend who has been inside of a fork before. Mm -hmm. As far as the forks go on these Harleys, they are relatively simple. Um, so it is an easier spring swap Got you. than question. Though. So if they bring just the, just the forks is they don't want to do that part. Right. We do it here. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's more, yeah. it's much easier for us to do it. Right, yeah, right, you know, right. we're, we're in these forks all day. So, yeah, exactly. um, and if one is going to do the whole job on the low rider ST or any low rider with the new, and it, uh, the new setup, uh, you guys don't have a video out yet, but I did see Stefan came out with a a great video showing the full install, right? Correct, yeah. Stefan, the man, the myth, the legend, right. uh, he has handled pretty much all of our install videos so far. Mm -hmm. yeah. We do plan on making some more content based in this shop now that we're in a new location and stuff. And okay. um, so keep an eye out for that. Yeah. I think yeah. in the future we will be yeah. doing more of that. Okay. But, uh, yes, there are install yeah. videos I'll, specific I'll, to the nibble. I'll tag Stefan's exactly what I was going to say. Down below in the video description. Let him finish. So you guys could check out the install too. So as, as you've heard in the background, he took my words. Uh, Stefan did this install very, very much by himself in Germany, I think. I watched the video, so it's very detailed, step by step. Great video. Watch it. There's going to be a link below by the description. Uh, with Stefan's video all on the low rider ST with the new uh, Wilbur suspension so so John's uh, rear suspension is is done pretty easy like I didn't even break a sweat look and it was like that's the fast the easy part with uh you know bolting on bolting off yeah top bolt up here mm. the rear shock bolt uh, there's a little through hole yeah. on the uh little tight no it's yeah. much tighter yeah. yeah but tight is good <laughs> compact yeah, yeah. <laughs> johnny stop <laughs> <laughs> okay this side is off i can see yes yeah I took that off okay. yeah so yeah, pulling this one out drop the rear wheel a little bit this one yeah that's a uh, that's the uh custom dynamics Top secret Custom Dynamics, uh, Blinker, Beeper, Schmicker, you know, the one that does all the strobing and stuff like that. All right, so what Frank did is he actually uh, removed the upper uh, bolt, and that way 
it dropped it dropped the rear uh, the suspension i mean yeah it dropped the wheel back of the whole uh just dropped the whole suspension back and then it gave him more clearance of your more access easier access to the to the rear bolt now. once you start with the top and you disconnect the bolt the swing arm drops completely and then you get better access to the rear the, the bottom bolt that's what he's doing right now next step is to uh, remove the adjuster for the, the preload adjuster that's right there we go Looks like what? One zip tie right there. Oh. And that's it. Yeah. Probably need to take this brace off. Or once this is off, you'll be able to. I was kind of hoping we could sneak it out, but I think you're right. Oh, is this your first install on a... On, a, on an ST, on yeah. ST? Yep. Oh, we get the privilege. First 24 to be installed, and the first low rider ST to be installed with the Nivo mat. Maybe we need to cut this piece out. Yeah, so every cut. Every, <laughs> just bring the jigsaw. Yeah, well, just, just bring the. I got, I got the angle grinder. We can get the saws out of it. I got this one free if you want to uh, talk about it. Oh, simple as that. What's this? Is that rust? Oh, huh? rust. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> and now it just goes in, huh? Sandy, show, show me what's going on. What's going on? Me, Listen, look. I, let me explain. Okay, I need to explain to John. So you took it out. Took this out, okay? And we saw that even over here, you see, there's even rust over here, mm -hmm. but it's still moving. That's yeah. a that can happen with the the bushing and the bearing over here seizing up. Mike, so that can happen. Oh, yep. I, I didn't even oh, know. Under the I, I didn't know you had this actually on the bike. You know where? Oh. Not when I found this out hmm. about this when I went to Daytona, and I rode uh, the uh, the Heritage, hmm. and we played around with uh, the. Uh... That's pretty much it. That's Balls it. Right huh? Back into place. Hmm. Yeah. Put the bolts in. This brace goes right, back over top. Let's go. No, oh, we're done. <laughs> we're done. <laughs> Stay tuned. We're gonna we're gonna give you the full review. Yeah. After we leave here, we're gonna ride home. Yeah. We're gonna ride home. Miles. Yeah. And when we get home, I'm gonna flip out the camera and tell you how it rides. Clinical, very clinical. I'm telling you, it's like a pharmacy over here. I mean, look at the floors; you can eat off, off the floors over here. Yeah, the back, can... the rear bolt, the bottom bolt, I should say. Actually, drop it a little bit. I can see from here. There, just there. That's it. Find the torque value for both of these. Torque values, and okay. Then, uh, that should be it. Okay. Easy peasy. And then the hard work starts with the front, with the forks, right? Yeah. yeah with all the to... oil and the uh -huh. springing and everything. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Frank just port, uh, torqued the... Uh, the Wilbur's on that end. It look, you see how it freed up some space? Because I had I had the reservoir over here, the preload right, right, reservoir right. over That's here. True, yeah. So now I've got more space under. I can put like you a put sandwich. Storage. A sandwich? Yeah, a hot dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or a bottle of water. <laughs> so Sandy's bike's all done in the back. Yep. Now he's going to work on the front. Same as yours, right? That's yours it. is done. Well, he's got to set the... Uh, oh, the sag. Set yeah, the sag, is. but that's later. Now I'm going to start working on, on the front end of mine. Uh, pretty much it's the spring replacement with the special oil and the special uh, spring. I, I heard, the, uh, I remember reading or actually I don't read. I mean, I remember uh, seeing the video where he talks about how the surface area of the spring is a little bit different and it gives some kind of uh, friction and viscosity within that oil that changes the behavior of the front end. So, and then also the coating on the springs is a frictionless, um, you know, it's run through an abrasive right. polisher. Right, right. Uh, so, you know, the oil will move. So the movement on the metal, on this, uh, yes. on this metal, the move oil movement on the metal is different than what uh, others have. Correct. 
the, the, the finishing is of higher quality. Gotcha. Yep. Okay. See, I knew all of that. <laughs> okay, since this is uh, like uh, their first install of this bike, so we're learning uh, as we go, and we just Frank just came up with uh, this great, uh, this great uh, revelation. What is it? I call it a tip. A tip. No, we just found. We just big. yeah, we just found it now. <laughs> what was that? Is we actually? Uh, so, for getting to this pinch bolt that's back here, right? What you can do is if you remove the preload adjuster first, right. you pull this brace off, which we have to do anyway. Right. It gives you a whole lot of room so you uh, can get so you can get into that pinch bolt. pinch bolt and then you're able to work everything much easier faster. Okay, you see that? Frank is working too fast for me. Now Frank's he, over here. He got my fender off. Front, it is off. He, I just didn't even get a chance to to follow. Let me I know, no, he's too fast. It's not, he's too fast. This is the part that is like really uh, very specific, very, uh, very uh, detailed uh, with all the oiling and stuff. And like personally, I feel comfortable doing uh, mechanical work. I'm sure if you have patience and you're very detailed and very accurate, it's it's doable, huh? Absolutely, absolutely, right? Yeah. With enough high no. quality YouTube videos. Calipers off. That was easy and fast, as uh, as seen before. I didn't even get a chance to uh, tape that. But again, like I said before, you'll have a very detailed and specific video with Stefan's video. So that nice. doesn't ruin. This the... is the this is the dangerous part. Right. Yeah. These Where calves. It flies up. Yeah. There. <laughs> <laughs> Spring pressure. Yeah. That is first four coming out. What did you have to release? Both the uh, uh, upper upper tree and the yeah. lower. Yep. Yeah. So the two two bolts down here. Okay. And then the one up top. Oh, I got you. Okay. I see one here. Yep. One here and two on the bottom. That's right. All right. There you go. We're gonna get the same treatment over here with the uh, top coming off and then the pumping action with uh, squirting out all the oil. If this one works is uh, is unlike right, that so one where the cap to just way. popped off on his. Mm -hmm. This is going to stay attached to the uh, to the guts, uh, the working the bits. Oh, I got you. Now, okay. Ten weight. We're Changing. still working on these seals. Oh yeah, we need new seals because the bike has five, almost six thousand miles. Typically, you don't need to change it, but we're going to be putting 11,000 miles in a few months for our road trip. So Mike suggested to put new seals on. Yeah, just to be just to be sure. Yeah, to be safe. that's good. So that's what we're doing right now. Frank is taking uh, the seals off. Yep, this and is the dust seal. Dust this is the first one that comes comes out. And it's off. Those are the those are the seals. That's the seal. These two uh, metal ones yeah. are well. This one's a bushing. Right. This. That rubbery looking one is yep. your oil seal. That's what keeps all the oil inside. Got you. Oh, it's pretty massive. Uh, and we do this for every job where we're uh, changing out seals. Yeah. We want to make sure that there's a nice even surface on uh, on the tubes. Yeah. Uh, we achieve that just with some scotch paint. So oh. all we're going to be doing is just polishing either really shiny spots right. where all the seals have been rubbing back and forth. That's where all the uh, friction is going on yeah, over there. Yeah, we want to take care of that. And then if there's any like lines in here, sometimes we can get those out gotcha. with a uh, little scotch brite as well. Gotcha. <laughs> obvious reasons yeah it never gets all the way down what's that green thing dude what's that green thing so this is just to uh, protect the seals Starting going back on ah i got you sometimes this lip here can right, be sharp it's sharp yeah. so got you. put that over you can use a plastic bag for that this is just a specific tool what are you doing of, putting some on. grease on a little it. grease yeah just a little grease on the inside of it so uh so it's got a slides nice and easy so right where that cap is right on and obviously it's uh, specific of uh, the way it goes in one, not the other. Yeah, I see. Yeah. yeah, they are directional. So at this point, all of the uh, the seals are on, both the dust and the oil seal. Seal. Now we just have this, which is a spacer between the seals. And there's a lot of action going on 
in the other Bay Area over there, but I can't I can't attend both places. So if you want to see a touring a touring install, take a look at uh, Mr. Cycle Fanatics here, uh, his video, and you'll get the details. But you came here for the ST, right? So when when we were at the computer before, and we put in your weight, and it gave us how much preload. That preload is set. We don't have, like on, on these story models, how we have these threaded collars. There's no way to reference it. Right, uh -huh. so we will check your sag, make sure it's in a good place. If it needs to be changed, the shock needs to come out to change preload shims, to change spring rates. Oh, gotcha. Where on the touring bikes, we can adjust here. Mm. The nature of the nibble mat, which always brings you back to a certain height, is really comes into play on these shocks because if we are a tad bit under, as soon as you start to ride, it it, it brings right. you to where you need to be, oh, gotcha, gotcha. right? So yeah. that's the technology. We have like a, exactly, yeah. and we do find that people tend to load the touring bikes yeah. with more weight, more passengers, yeah, stuff right, like that, yeah, yeah, yeah. than we well, would obviously. see on the soft tail right. shocks. Right. So. The outer fork tube, I just slid right over the inner. Yep. Now you have to make sure that these get smacked into position. Heard it. That's it. I heard it. How does a individual that doesn't have this fancy golden uh, set? What is the what does the person at home do? Buy it. Buy it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There's no way to drive the seal down there. Mm. That one's hard to get around. Um, there's no real good way to do it otherwise you start putting screwdrivers up there there's a real good chance you're tearing that seal gotcha. um, but know. that is not actually important for your your upgrade that is just a, when you replace just a seal seal at 40 at 40,000 miles uh, so we do like every 20,000 we 20 25,000 we recommend the service All right so the uh, guy but the guy that's gonna buy your your yes. thing doesn't need that you don't that need to, it if right. um, if you don't plan on doing the fork seals uh, just putting the springs in, you do not need gotcha. this tool. Okay, don't panic, okay? I panic, but you don't need this. I don't always panic. I don't always panic. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you there. <laughs> now I think we get to the oil part soon. One bottle was going to be enough for both forks? Correct. Yep. Set it. Set it and forget it. Oh, yes, yeah, reading it, yeah. Yeah, we have this rod that we can pump up and down. Right. Let's see them as they come up. It might be hard to see on the camera. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now it seems like you're hitting friction, right? Yep, now there's some more resistance going up and down. The phone is, in, is ringing all day long. You guys are busy here. It's good. Yeah. It's really good. Phone hasn't stopped uh, ringing for a second. Mm, I'll use this as a little measurement. It's easier, gonna yeah, when you're just some, sucking it up. Uh, directional, right? Like you yeah. said. So we want to make sure that the tight coils are up at the top. When Tighter you over here than on the bottom. Okay. So you might, you might spend... So we have a bigger fork jack that um, Frank will probably use to put this back on. But this would be an easier way to do it. You mm -hmm. just hold these in. You also need a plunger grabber. It's got threads on the inside. Yep. You pull down on this, pull up on the other, and tighten everything together. Yeah, because uh, people are buying the, the systems from you and they're installing them. So I'll actually put that uh, little uh, thing in, that little uh, clamp in this one. John, you want to give us a hand here? Because I'm sure. with my camera. I'm going to pull How that much? one up. How much? All oh, the way. Well. Okay. And just tell me where, right orientation here? Yep, that's good. But that's it? Yep. Okay, you go ahead, let go gently. Yep. We're good. That's it. Perfect. Ah, that was easy. Come on. I can do that with my with my hand, one hand behind my back. Yeah. I'll show you a trick that uh, <laughs> that the guys have actually straddle it. I got you. This. And then it shoots up into yeah, your face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It. <laughs> if, it, if it slips. Better be safe, buddy. That's yeah. Sorry. No. Yeah. It was. It was. You don't want to poke your eye out, little kid. No. Uh, no. As far as this will go, by hand, you don't have to go crazy. Is it this side? Yeah. It's Mike's got the tool we need over there. The, the actual comfort that we get from this yeah. is 
the whole place down. Uh, so we really just got it all right. Just to pull this cap off before. Right. Okay, the second fork tube is off. Right there, and uh, Frank is... Uh, Got my protective protective eyewear over here. Just checking out some uh, fashion styling and stuff. The spring's there to hold your weight up. The other fork is doing the actual damping, right? So this is a cartridge. So there's literally channels where the oil flows through, and that's what controls the damping. Correct. So oil's coming in and out of these holes. Yeah. Through a valve that's being pushed in this inner chamber. Right. Right. So in your right side fork yeah it is only this spring spring running in oil that's it that's it yeah yeah the other fork is handling the actual damping okay so trying to figure out why like why the one side is different than the other and that was that's what mike and frank was were explaining over here, and julian they were explaining uh that one side actually has a cartridge with that controls the flow of the oil and the dampening. On the other side, it's just like he said, Frank said, it's the pogo stick. Pretty much. Pogo right. stick oil with oil inside, so. We're, we're debating, we're debating, like, uh, uh, sometimes people want just to save. Just doing the rears, just doing fronts, whatever. Yeah. You always notice how much worse, if you do just the rears, Yeah. you notice how much worse the front is then, once you have the rears on, right? right? right. So then they come back to us, couple weeks later and they say oh i need the front you know i notice how bad my you know yeah. how bad the front end is john just said john just john what was that you just said about it's like getting what it's like having buying one new boot and keeping the other old boot on <laughs> who does that nobody does that it's the whole package it's the whole package it works right. in unison it works yeah. the suspension works together just like on a car would you just change the front springs and not the back yeah no yeah, you, you you're if you're doing the suspension you got to do it the right way yeah i thought oh I hope that he has the, the the tool for the right hand fork leg. Yeah, well, he do, he just ordered it, and in the meantime, he rigged his own. We made our own. Made his own. We made our own. Okay, but you know, uh, it's pretty tough to have a, look, have a look at my shirt. There you go. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we don't get the we don't get the crew. Oh, it ones. says crew. We don't get the crew <laughs> ones. No, we made our own. We made our own gym tool. Okay, perfect. Because so. yesterday I I, I thought. Oh, no, I'm not going to disturb him on Sunday because it's anyway too late. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my bike, my bike's, my bike's done. Uh, he's, they're almost done with. Uh, you will, and it, you will if you want, if you want detailed install videos, head over to Stefan's garage, garage yeah. and he'll show you how to do it. We're going to have, yeah, we're going to have a link, a link down by. Yeah, we're going to, we're going to have links to your videos. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. please mention that it's in the worst English possible. Dude, yeah. anything coming heard, from heard, Arnold Schwarzenegger heard, is okay worse. with us. I heard worse. <laughs> Don't worry. I heard worse. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Thanks Stephan. for calling. I got some. it in. Oops. There you go. Four tubes going in. I'm holding also from the top. No, it's okay. Look it. Let it go? Yeah. But you want to make sure... That, that has its own torque spec as well. Oh. So that weird COVID time where... Okay, guys, the bike is out. Mike is test riding it. I'm gonna end this video right here, right now. Next video, get back to me to watch the review when I ride back from here. I'm gonna be going to Nadal's to drink a good cup of coffee and from there home, 100 miles all the way back home. I test ride it and I tell you 
what I think about it. It's nice about the Pasana, I can hear it from miles away. You happy? It's awesome. Oh man, okay, I can't wait. Next video, guys. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Sandy, and you're watching Holy Shift. Till the next video, guys, peace out.